Good morning and welcome to The Daily Word. My name is John Robbins. Today I read from the seventh chapter of the Gospel of Luke. Let us hear these words. After Jesus had finished all his sayings in the hearing of the people, he entered Capernaum. A centurion was there who had a slave whom he valued highly and who was ill and close to death. When he heard about Jesus, he sent some Jewish elders to him, asking him to come and heal his slave. When they came to Jesus, they appealed to him earnestly, saying, He is worthy of having you do this for him, for he loves our people, and it is he who built our synagogue for us. And Jesus went with them. But when he was not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to say to him, Lord, do not trouble yourself, for I am not worthy for you to come under my roof. Therefore, I did not presume to come to you, but only speak the word and let my servant be healed. Now, as we know in this particular passage of scripture from the Gospel of Luke, there is a centurion. He is a Roman military official responsible for 100 troops. He is a Gentile, he's a non-Jew. And yet, interestingly enough, he is a believer in Jesus Christ, this Jewish rabbi who we know to be the anointed one. He has a sick slave whom he cares for deeply. And because his slave is ill, he knows that he has an opportunity, if he possibly can, to come into the presence of Jesus, and Jesus can heal him. So he sends messengers to Jesus. But he's so overwhelmed with who Jesus is that he reminds Jesus that he is not worthy to come into his presence. Jesus is smitten with him as a result. Jesus recognizes, of course, that this man has a deep and abiding faith and extraordinary reverence for him, and as a result, his slave is made well. I think oftentimes about the centurion, about how he was very public with his faith, particularly under the circumstances, being a Gentile, being a Roman military official, and yet as a result of his faith, the one whom he cares about is made well. He is one who is willing to risk. He is willing one to step out and as a follower of Jesus Christ, make that public. I wonder how many times in life are we willing to risk to make very public who we believe in and what it is we believe. I think sometimes there are circumstances where we say we don't want to offend anybody or we don't want to stand out in any way, so we remain quiet. But like this centurion, our responsibility is to always be public about who we are in every circumstance. And just like the centurion slave, when we do our part, others benefit as a result. So I encourage you to be one who steps out in faith, one who is very obvious in your understanding of how it is you portray yourself as a follower of Jesus Christ, particularly during this season of Lent. Blessings on your day.